Hey guys, so I just wanted to hop on, do a quick video about the things that suck with doing Facebook Marketplace drop shipping. You know, there's a lot of good, of course, you can make thousands of dollars. I think this month already, it's March 22nd, I think I'm at $1,300 profit. Um, not the least, not the most anybody's ever made, but uh, it's pretty decent for only being two months in. So let's talk about some bull crap. Some, some things that aren't the best that uh, might make you or might discourage you from wanting to do it or just at least paint a clear picture of some of the problems you might encounter. So I got a little list. If you see me glancing down at my list, it's because I can't remember anything for crap. So let's do it. Um, the marketplace isn't perfect. Uh, it's not quite developed enough and robust enough, if you want to hear that word over and over again, to really handle a lot of features. You can't automate it, which is one of the problems. Um, you can use ZDrop, which, um, you know, I'll talk about in a minute. It just helps you list things faster. You can use things like what we talk about in the, the Facebook group, link in the description for that, of course. Uh, we talk about OA Genius a lot, where we can help with some of the tracking number issues we run into. But just know that you are gonna run into issues. It's not just gonna be like, ooh, let me just list an item and then it's gonna sell perfectly and I'm not gonna run into any problems. It's plenty of problems. Like talking about how Facebook's not perfect. Most of us can't even sell more than one of the same item unless we list it as more than one thing or we do deals outside of Facebook. Luckily, I've been able to do some deals outside of Facebook the last few days that have actually made me way more profit, but it's also kind of sucks because I gotta message the people, convince them that's not weird and all that stuff, it just kinda sucks. <clears throat> Excuse me. But, wh what else is wrong with it? Some people do have the quantity option. I hope they roll that out to more people soon because that would be really nice to be able to have a customer be like, I, I'm gonna buy three of this item if I have the quantity is 10 or 20 or whatever. So, uh, I've had a lot of people lately just be saying, okay, I bought one. Like, they'll purchase one and then be like, I really want three though. How can I get three? And I have to be like, all right, well, you know, because I'm like, well, if they're already get, if they're already open to doing a deal outside of Facebook, I tell them to cancel their order so that I don't have to do the Facebook fee. And I tell them to pay me through Venmo. Or a lot of people feel more comfortable with PayPal. I'll send them the PayPal me link and then it's less of a fee than what Facebook's fee is. So I get a little bit more profit that way. Plus I'm selling multiple of the same item. Helps me out. Uh, that's a little tip there for you. Um, I've also heard of people kind of, this, I'm getting off now. This isn't all about bad stuff. Now it's about good stuff. I've had some people have luck with saying like, message me for free shipping options. And then they basically do the whole deal outside of Facebook. Beware though. I have heard of people somehow getting found out they're doing that. I don't know if, of course, Facebook can read all your messages and maybe their algorithm like notices words like Venmo and PayPal. And then those get like kind of ran through a system and be like, oh, this person's dealing under the table with us. So they might shadow ban you or do whatever. I don't know. I don't know. There's just suggestions. None of us really know. This is all fine. This is all the frontier of Facebook marketplace dropshipping. So <clears throat> you will never get more messages that shouldn't exist than if you Facebook marketplace dropship. Is this item still available? They say a hundred times a day. Like every single, if you have an item listed, you will get messages saying, is this item available? Yes, it's available. I listed it, damn it. Why wouldn't it be available? Doesn't matter. Now, to play devil's advocate a little bit, I also understand that there are some people's accounts who they don't have that, like, they just don't see the buy now button when they're shopping, and the only button they can click is the is this available item. And then it lets them buy it. So that might be why a lot of us get those. Maybe it's not all just people being stupid. Um. It can, it can be stressful. If, if you can't, you know, at first it was kind of starting to stress me out when I started getting more sales. Sorry, I don't know if I'm covering the microphone. But once you kind of figure out where your little barriers are of what you're willing and not willing to do, um, I wouldn't recommend just being like, I accept everything. It's really easy for us to start and be like, okay, I'll take 5% profit, more money than I had before. Um, I've kind of talked about this in a previous video. Don't do that. 
if you're selling an item for forty dollars, don't make four dollars profit on it. Don't list it for forty five dollars or, or whatever the forty seven to take away the Facebook fee. Then you're probably like, don't do that. First, you're cheapening the whole playing field for everybody else. And before you know it, we're all going to be competing with like one to two percent profit margins like everybody does on eBay or whatever. Like, just don't. Get list it with a good profit margin. And if it doesn't sell, it doesn't sell. And you can slowly lower it then. Don't list it with slow with low profit. It's not worth it. If the item takes off like crazy, it still might not be worth it. <clears throat> that uh, in that top five items video that I made where I told you guys the top five selling items I had for the month. That number one item, there was a while where I was selling it. It was still 40% profit, but I was only making like $4 on it every time I sold it. And even at that, I got like a hundred orders almost in like two days. It was so overwhelming that it wasn't even worth it to me, even though I made a, even though I made some money on it. Like, so I listed it even higher now if somebody buys it, which is way less than what they used to. Um, maybe that's also because I told you guys all to sell it, but a lot of you guys already kind of knew about that product. So I don't know. Either way, now when I sell it, I make like double that and I'm way more happier when I sell one because I'm not also selling 50 a day. Like, because I prefer this whole thing that I'm doing. I only want to work on it a tiny bit in the morning, maybe a tiny bit in the evening when I'm relaxing. I don't want this to be a full-time job. I don't even want it to be a part-time job. I want it to be almost as passive as I can make it. So if I have something that takes off in sales, probably gonna bottleneck that real quick if it's annoying to me because I just wanna sell good profit items regularly and I can handle it each morning. So just know, don't, it, it's really easy when you start to just assume a little bit of profit's fine. Right now I'm making zero dollars. If I could make $10 a day, 30 days of, thirty days every month, like, oh man, that'd be awesome. I can make $300 extra this month. That is not your goal. Your goal is to make as much as you can a month within what you're willing to do. And if you're using credit cards, what your credit limit is and all that, all those factors. So just know, don't go in for the cheapest thing. It, it's not healthy for you. It's not healthy for the whole environment and community that does it. Don't do that. Okay, lack of automation. I kind of brought this up a second ago. <clears throat> There's no real good way to auto list or to auto price change or to auto fulfill orders. Um, there's not really even a good trusted way to handle VAs at the moment, which if you don't know what those are, those are virtual assistants. They will list things on your behalf, fulfill orders, do product research for you, kind of whatever you want them to do. You can assign them to do all of it, parts of the task, whatever. When I do get a VA, it will probably be for product research purposes so that they don't have access to my credit card and they don't have access to my Facebook account until I feel more comfortable with that or until I get my second account running with the shipping option, then I don't care. But either way, ZDrop is the closest thing we've got for most of it. Um, other websites are working on automation techniques, but ZDrop's the best we have. For those of you who don't know about ZDrop, ZDrop lets you basically find an item on, they've got a bunch of different retailer, online retailers, but most of us use it for Walmart, Amazon, and eBay. <clears throat> Maybe Home Depot. I know they have it there, but whatever. Anyway, you can find an item, you do your research or whatever, you think you wanna sell this on Facebook, there's a little button in the top corner that says copy to Facebook. If you click that button, it copies all the photos, all the description information, it even tries to find tags for you, which half the time they're not the best, but it gets you somewhere and it opens up a tab automatically, puts a little button in the top corner with the Facebook listing, you hit it and it pastes all that information in there for you. What would normally take way longer is now seconds. It's so much easier to list now. Um, that is, they have a f uh, seven day free trial. And then after that seven days, it's like $10 a month. I do have a coupon code in the description, just so you know, that gets it to $9 a month instead of $10 a month, so 10% off. Um, the coupon code is just my name. It's Cameron, all lowercase, I believe. I don't know if you have to type it on lowercase, but that's what they sent me to give it to you guys. Uh, just a heads up, I do get a little kickback for that. They give me like nine bucks every time one of you guys uses one of those codes. So helps me out and it should help you out as well. So. Yeah, but I only talk about that product because I actually use it and I actually like it. 
the moment it sucks, the moment, the moment Z drop upsets me, I will tell you all to cancel it. <laughs> or I'll just, you know, I'll give honest reactions. I, I made a whole Z drop video just the other day for you guys to go watch. And I, plenty of times I'm like, this, this feature is clunky, this feature, whatever, but we mainly use it for this. I will be honest with what I feel like. I don't use all of its features, but the main feature is great. Anyway, away from Z drop. What else do I got for you? Um, one thing to, to watch out for and to not get stuck in this trap is don't think that every time somebody messages you asking you questions that it's worth your time. It isn't. Even the ones that do end up selling probably wasn't worth your time. Unless you don't value your time very much, which I'm not, it's not a jab, I promise. If you don't really care about your time, okay, message it. Have the conversation, so that's fine. But before you know it, you're gonna be like, dude, I can't message these people anymore. They just never sell. Um, just recently, I've, I've sold maybe, in, in the, since I've started back in February or, or whenever, end of January, I think I've only sold two or three things that somebody actually messaged me first before they bought. Other than that, waste of time. Hundreds of messages, waste of time. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. It's temp. Okay. Ooh, here's a, here's one for those of you who suck with money. I'm looking at you and you know who you are. It is so tempting to take your profit before you deserve it. It's, it's, it's the best way I can put it. So I use a credit card. Um, I don't use this credit card for personal personal purchases. I only use it for drop shipping purchases. When I get an order in on Facebook, I you know fill out my little spreadsheet. I go to the place where that item's listed that I'm going to buy it from on a retailer. I purchase it with this credit card. Pretty much primarily it's Amazon now because the credit card I'm talking about is Amazon's credit card. Um, no affiliate link for that. I'm not pitching their card. It just gives you the 5% cash back. And since I primarily moved all my sales over to Amazon, not selling on Amazon, they're just who I buy my stuff from to send to people. I get 5% cash back on all my stuff to help with my margins, hopefully down the road. And all of my money gets sent to a separate bank account now from my personal bank account. Because when that money is getting deposited into your personal bank account, it's really easy to see a $300 PayPal transaction from Facebook and be like, man, there's less money in my account than I wanted there to be. Oh, I can just use this and then I'll, I'll you know, I'll, I'll pay off those credit cards with my personal money later since I'm just, I'm just borrowing it. Who cares? That is a slippery slope into find, into creating a side hustle that just puts you in debt. Don't do that. Don't do that. I am anti-debt, but at the same time, use a credit card, so I can't preach it completely, but just... Don't, don't use this money for personal reasons. I, my plan is to take out either all my profits at the end of each month or at the end of each quarter. I haven't done it yet, haven't done it yet. I've used some of my profits from my spreadsheet to pay for the LLC that I started and to um, like pay for OA Genius credits to do tracking numbers, stuff like that. Um, but just don't. Don't use that money. I don't want you guys slipping into a bad habit and getting yourselves in trouble. This is supposed to be like a blessing in your life in a way, not a curse. So just, it can be tempting, especially if you are hard with money, which is why you're starting the side hustle possibly. Don't do it. I don't know how many times I can do it. And if you're thinking about do it, comment first or message me first or go to the Facebook group and get more opinions about it. Other people may have a different opinion. My, I would like to get to the point where once I hit $5,000 profit and that money is consistently sitting in my bank account even as I'm paying credit card bills off, then I can take it. Or I'll just leave it there for when I need it. I don't know. Uh, also, when you do take your profit, keep back like 15 to 20% of it in your account. Don't take 100% of your profit because you are going to be responsible for taxes on this. And it's really easy to be like, oh, I'll handle that later when I'm really banking on all this. And I can just like, oh, all my profits for that month can just go toward my taxes for whenever that comes around. Don't do that either. That is not a good habit. 
Just be responsible up front. That's one of the bad parts is what I'm trying to get, drill into you is just you need self-control or else this is going to hurt you more than it's going to help you. And it's going to feel like it's helping at the time. That's all I'm going to say. Whatever. Okay. There is a risk. Here's another one. There's a risk of you just getting your Facebook account banned from shipping. Happens to people all the time. They lose the shipping option. Their whole Facebook ads account, or not that I'm telling you to run ads, but just that the whole thing that's not your normal Facebook profile, all that background stuff that involves selling in any way, that can just get shut down and you'll lose it. Pain in the ass. But it happens to people. If you start doing weird stuff, if you start experimenting too much, which is what I'm kind of doing for you guys, I try to do these little experiments and see what I get away with and then relay it back to you. So far, it's been pretty, pretty lucky. Um, you're going to get a lot of dumb questions in Messenger, like what size is this item when the size is literally in the title? Ignore those people. They're not worth selling. If they figure it out, they'll buy from you. Just ignore them. Um, before you start, the, you need to know if you even have the shipping option. Try to list something because if you don't have the shipping option, you're not going to be doing this. There, there's several ways you can buy Facebook accounts that have it. You can try to f mess with the system. I know a couple people who message me personally sometimes and they talk about how they got the shipping option, which is so cool. But they knew how to do it and they kind of played the system to do it. I still don't even really get how to do it. Like, And, and I kind of understand this stuff. So if you're just starting and you think like, oh, I can just you know hack my way into getting the shipping option. No, you're not. No, you're not. Do something else or, or do it the way that a lot of people have to do it where you, you list things and you have to just sell them locally. You meet up with them. You go to Walmart before you meet up with them, buy the item, meet them. If they no show you, you go return the item, handle it that way. Just don't or list things and tell people you can take payment through Venmo or whatever and then you can still ship them the item. It's just well, not going to go through Facebook. Maybe Facebook's just how you get traffic. It's not going to be as easy. It's not going to be as fun. But it's a, it's a side hustle and you're making it work. All right. Uh, one of the last things I'll talk about, we're, we're kind of getting, getting in here now, the price delays or the, the payouts. If you don't put in perfect tracking information, you're not going to get paid for like 20 days. So we have ways around that. I talk about it in previous videos. If you want to check those out, just know that. That's the worst case. The best case is that you get paid five days after the item gets delivered. So either way, just know from the moment you place an order to the moment you get paid, it's about a week turnaround, just most most of the time. And if it, the fastest it can possibly be is like six days because if you place an item and it gets delivered the next day, which is like the best possible delivery option possible, then it might be six days. But just seven days at the best is what I assume. So this is an instant money when you make a sale. Just know that. And um, I, there's so many other things that we could complain about. Uh, if if you thought of one while watching this, put it in the comments because I'm sure I missed some stuff and I want I want to see them so that I could talk about them maybe or just see what you guys are running into. Um, these are the most common ones that I run into. Um, also, like and subscribe my video, man. If you thought this was cool, just like and subscribe. Like, if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe. I'm loving it. I just hit 500 subscribers, halfway to 1,000. Like, I feel like I just talked about having 100. So thank you guys so much. And uh, yeah, comment, tell me what's up. Facebook group, link in the description, all that good stuff. Z-Drop stuff in there. Thanks again. And as always, I'll see you next time.